living fellow calibrators. Just channeling a little Fred Barge with my Fred Barge pipe. All right, so we're gonna get a little Fred tonight. The first time I saw this book, One Cause, One Cure, I, I had to say I maybe tripped on a little bit, you know? I kind of go, well, you know, chiropractic, subluxation isn't the cause of everything. Chiropractic definitely isn't the cure for everything. In fact, as we learn later, chiropractic isn't the cure or treatment for anything. And we'll get into that in later episodes of Billy D's Philosophy Corner. But I kind of want to address what he meant by one cause, and in, in, in probably any of these books it states it, uh, one cause of disease, the body's inability to comprehend itself and or its environment. So if there was some type of disease or dysfunction in the body that didn't allow the body to function at 100% and deal with its environment. And the cure would be the body's ability to heal itself. The body is a self-healing organism. I mean, I trip on this all the time. I trip on a lot of things. The sperm and the egg cell come together and then nine months later, there's 75 trillion cells in perfect order, perfect harmony. I mean, that trips me out. You think about that intelligence that created you. That intelligence is the inner innate intelligence that perpetuates life in you on a daily basis. And if you work with the laws in the universe, you're going to have a better chance of expressing health. So the cure would be to remove the body's ability to heal itself. So what we do as chiropractic and any healer does is there's only one thing a doctor can do is remove the obstruction to healing in the body. The body even has to heal the knife of a surgeon, the wound of a surgeon. Uh, so I, I try to, from that, I, I really started to have a lot more faith in not treating disease, but I had a lot more faith in chiropractic, in that chiropractic is something that really everybody needs. It's subluxated, and most people in this world are subluxated. At least that's what I've noticed in my some 30 years of practice. Clarence Gonstead words of Clarence Gonstead. Remember that chiropractic always works when it does not seem to examine your application, but never, ever, ever question the principle. I mean, you, a lot of times hear people say that chiropractic didn't work, and I think many times in, in, in more recent years, I think that, I think the chiropractic adjustment has not been performed at the level that it should. I don't know if the schools are teaching the adjustment of the levels. Even when I went to school, it wasn't really, it was good, but it wasn't great. And that's why I got tutored outside of school. Because I wanted to be good at the one thing that I was gonna do every day. You know, if you're gonna be a guitar player, you better learn how to play guitar, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I got tutored outside of school by, uh, and I have to say he was, he was Asian karate dude okay and he taught me all about speed so I think a lot of times when people don't get results in chiropractic it's either they went to a chiropractor that doesn't adjust or I think the other issue is people don't see chiropractors long enough right? and you're trying to like I had a lady came to me today she was she's I think in her mid 70s and it's just like her fifth adjustment she goes I'm not feeling any better yet and I go well do I look like Jesus, please? I mean, I'm not gonna heal somebody overnight. Chiropractic always works, and it's not like what you're trying to do is eradicate person's symptoms. You're trying to improve the function, remove nerve interference by removing the subluxation with highly specific chiropractic adjustments. All right, so we're gonna jump now to what was another huge revelation for me was the whole I don't know, I, I went through school and we were learned to diagnose this and diagnose, you know, what was the disease and what caused the disease and what was the bacterium or the virus. And, and we, we, I became maybe not 100% germ-phobic, but I thought germs caused disease. I, I wasn't, I didn't even really hear any of these concepts to actually till I 
started going to DE and reading the green books and reading Fred stuff. But the one that run clear is one that you probably all know. That if the germ theory of disease was correct, there would be no one living to believe it. I mean, people come into you with these almost, they're fallacies that they, they don't want to come and see you because they don't want to get you sick. It's like dudes and dudettes come in and try to get me sick. I, in fact, I would consider that a flu shot without all the, without the needle or all the constituents I eat chemicals that are in that foolish shot. I mean, flu, flu, flu shot. Did I say flu shot? It's a Freudian slip again. All right, we're going to step up to the next dude who is Rudolf Virchow. And uh, I will end with this one. If I could live my life all over again, I would devote it to proving that germs seek their natural habitat. Wow, what a concept. Disease tissue rather than being the cause of disease tissue. For example, mosquitoes seek stagnant water but do not cause the pool to become stagnant and one that I coined the other day whether you like it or not I did coin it and uh, some people won't like it some people might I like it uh, germs don't cause disease any more than maggots cause dead animals I mean and as we'll learn in future episodes of the philosophy corner with Billy D you'll find out that Bugs, whatever they are, are going to seek their natural habitat, which is disease weakened tissue. It's not that you get sick from pneumonia, you get pneumonia because you're sick. Signing off, this has been another amazing episode of Billy D's Philosophy Corner. Check back next week for another exciting episode. And remember, like, share to your buddies and buddyettes. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, man. Come on. Get with the groove. Can I do this too, even on the Flossy Corner? And rock and roll. This video is sponsored by my friends over at MyChiropractice.com. Custom branding and web design for successful chiropractors. I love these dudes because of the raising image of chiropractic. And I really thank them for supporting all of our videos. Rock and roll.